Hey guys, welcome back. I'll be continuing this series like I promised before. I really liked Man of Medan. Uh, this time, this is uh, part 2. I think these guys uh, called the Dark Pictures, they made like 4 parts in total. So this is the second part uh, about um, a group of friends that got stranded in some haunted small town. There's also gonna be some fog in this game. I wonder if it's related uh, to the previous story. Let's play as a controller. I'll just... I'll try my mouse for this one. I gotta say I really liked Man of Midan. Uh, Man of Midan. The story was pretty interesting, it was like a long ass movie that you had like a, a part of it, making decisions and stuff. Oh yeah, uh, it's, it's got, it has something to do with witches as well. So, the book we just saw about witches. They're gonna go on a school trip and then something will happen. I wonder if they'll see something on the road as usual and, cra and the bus will crash. Man, the graphics are so good. So realistic. Uh, the facial expressions and all. Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. The beginning of this conversation is a bit awkward. Through little hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. So Little Hope, is that the name of the place we're going to? Takes you straight through Little Hope. Yep, I guess so. Such a fitting name. And of course it's some abandoned road without any lights. You are now entering Little Hope. Welcome to to our historical town. Historical, as in related to witchcraft. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Could you keep it down, please. The beginning is so similar to Silent Hill. Driving in the middle of nowhere. And then there's a little girl uh, in the middle of the road at night that causes a crash. I 
And I said beer and update. It's it's so weird. I didn't make any decisions yet. It's just I'm just literally watching a movie. Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart. I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after ten beers. Reverend Cost held her back after prayer True. today. It's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. Don't worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam? is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is You're not the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. That's not nice, especially since the girl was standing right outside listening know. in no way. on the conversation. Is she gonna have revenge or something? Gonna punish her? Oh. Tanya's late. She always is these days. Come on, dude, give her a break. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. He came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? What year is this? All of their haircuts is like 70s or 80s, the clothing as well. <laughs> Poor girl. Hey Bigfoot, find the goddamn vinyl, will ya? It was an accident, come on. It was an accident. Everything Megan does is an accident. And then the next thing we know, the little girl is the witch and she's gonna put a curse on all of them. I'm going to start climbing through the window. Really nice, the really nice keychain, number one dad. Yeah, says a lot about the guy. How's things? Pumping iron. iron. What's it about this time? He nearly fell through the front door. Some dad. They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the ten millionth time, will you ship that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. But a good break here and Houston made it very, very fine. It's cold up his ass. Trailing Phil Esposito and trying to make a shift to the Pittsburgh defense. Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. A surprise. Hey Dennis! Not now, sis. I'm busy. And then she's gonna remove the ladder or something. <laughs> hey, quit acting crazy. <laughs> Jesus, you scared it's me. It's always the little girls. I heard 
heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Everyone's just ignoring her. Brother has no time, dad has no time, mom has no time. Oh. Little thief. Or Maybe she wants to. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. Lock her in? You know what I'm like? It just upsets me. This sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Probably better to leave Megan alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. Right, sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. I'll go find her. The TV is so loud. Okay, when I'm using the mouse, pick up, examine, okay. Seems easy enough. Okay, just a mesh box. Same mechanics like in the previous game. Yikes. Ah, no. Ah, man. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Thanks, Dad. Jeez. To move to location, stop moving. Okay. Don't want to go out yet. As usual in these games, it's, it's best to explore the house. Maybe can get some extra stuff. You know, it's kind of a bit annoying to play um, by using the mouse only. Maybe I can make. Maybe I can change this. Um, controls. Point and click. Mouse and keyboard. This should do the trick. Yeah, way better. Son of a bitch clock. <laughs> There we go. Pretty, pretty, shiny, shiny. Tendons. Days absent. Zero one three zero one two seven. Wow. Megan's A lot of more trouble than I thought. It's in bad grades, it's troubled. Okay. Yeah, already examined. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Just takes some. It's gonna take me some time to get used to these controls. The controller felt like a bit more convenient.
anything in the closet. Can't even enter there. Just gonna go and check how the little girl is doing. The New England Witch Trials. Okay, okay. You didn't even give me a chance to pick up that book, come on. Oh. Oh no. Tanya! What's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing! I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. So yet another possessed girl. Man, it's gonna explode, hurry up! as well. Is, is this my fault? Was I not fast enough? Maybe I shouldn't have been exploring the downstairs so much. I will go for the younger sister. in the balcony it should be safe. Whoa. Well I tried. I double tried. Makes me feel like no matter what I no matter what I choose, both of them still are meant to die. Oh. That's unfortunate. 
all this time this guy was sitting in the attic and then tried to escape. Useless. Useless. So everyone blamed him after seeing the matchbox in his hands. I hope it's not copyrighted music. Here we go. Hello. And welcome. Hey. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? We have. No matter. Welcome <laughs> okay. to the repository. I am the curator, the guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Just this wishes. particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's I thought so. Happened? Okay. Anyway. Look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? So wise. You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. All right. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless, and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts, so much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. Hopefully none. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self. Be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place. Okay. But I am. Apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. It's so exciting. Mm. Yeah, I can feel it. Gonna be fun. That's sad, so basically the entire family's gone. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together. 
for eternity in God's loving embrace. Something tells me this was not the last time we've seen the last g the little girl. College student. Okay. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? How's he doing? How is he doing anyway? Doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, Professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. <clears throat> I you know what? I tried once, but I'm on it. This guy, uh, the professor, looks so much, th both him and the father who died, hey, Andrew, looks so much alike. Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaking up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. How much the, you, how come the characters look so much alike? In there too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. Fucking thing, useless piece of crap. May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Ah. Ah. Fuck. Where's my phone? Anyone up there? Is it just me or all of the characters hey, look Daniel, that you? John, similar to the to previous ones Daniel? at the beginning? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm alright. Nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. This guy in the red shirt. <laughs> hey Taylor. Help me get it. Sorry, it's it's the same actor, I think, the one who played one of the guys in Man of Medan in the previous part. So they used Wait, they used his face as well. I don't remember anything? Wh who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John. You're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others. Get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. Or 
maybe it's a past life thing or maybe they're still like uh, in that house or something that trail the others are on will come out down the or road. is that the way around we'll it's a bit confusing there. we should talk this through why leave the bus not like we have somewhere better to wait no we could be here all night our best move is to get to the others then head towards town see if we can find some help Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. Are you sure about that? Maybe he's a ghost or something. Okay, sure, let's go. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. Apparently that was an important decision. Okay, doke. I can't believe the driver just taking off like that and ditching us. Maybe you didn't realize. Could just be in shock. We're his responsibility, his passengers. He can't just stroll off. Abandon. this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I? Why should I have heard of this place? Because it's a cursed There's, town. This place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. H how do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. <laughs> <laughs> that reaction was so awkward. She's like, yeah, okay. Good to see you two, finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you. Nice. Two. Basically, welcome to Silent Hill. Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where. Yeah, good luck with that. Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Okay, Professor, we don't need the town's history. Bad things happened here a long time ago. Which you are dying to tell us all about. I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. I'm not wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. Don't really have a choice. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? Okay. 
I still and then, think the smart move is for us all to stick together. I'd be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. Come on, are you serious? Don't separate. Separate. It's like the worst thing you can do. No. Back here? This doesn't add up. This is some very weird shit going on here. Silent Hill. Parasol. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? That you've lost it. It's not possible. I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa. Hey, careful! Watch out! Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. So they're stuck in a loop. No matter wh where they go, they just end up on the same street, on the same road. You. We're trapped here. There's no way out. I, I don't understand. She's right. We walk dead straight, going away from you. So, how'd we end up back here? Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. So there is no way back. Can't reach the bus. Yep. That is a little odd. You don't say? See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying. We are trapped. We can't leave here. Now okay. what do we do? Okay, calm down. Breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? That's actually a good point. I wonder if they're, all of them are alive or this is just like an afterlife thing. Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right I need to think straight. Right now. Why are you just shut up? This isn't helping us find help, or getting us out of here. It's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. You there can get is help? Nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There's nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Wise choice. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know... You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. Cat, I'm a kid to God. I don't like the look of that place at all. 
Kitty. Maybe they won't ask for ID. Kitty. Should I follow it? Huh. Okay. I see lights. I wonder if I'm anyone's sure there. Such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. Could I'll be. Go, in and take a look around. go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow, I'm telling you, Angela is on to us. She knows. What did you two talk about? She was digging around like she always does. Why is that a problem? Let her imagine whatever she wants. Probably drives her crazy. <laughs> Why is that a problem, though? That they're in a relationship? I don't get. Yet. I will be soon. I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. Are we standing here all night, or are we going inside? Okay. The guy's like, yeah, whatever. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse Just me. Just chilling. But we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped I'm sorry too? for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. He certainly looks shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years. Of Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. <laughs> it's right there if you change your mind. No drinks for you, mister. Not for me. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. There a phone in here? We can use a way of contacting the outside world. There's a phone. But well, it's been dead for years. How come I'm not Maybe surprised? Someone working in town. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Uh, 
He's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. You need an umbilical... <clears throat> this is... At least I'm looking for this is so awkward. Just Not... a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double, or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double 20. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple 20. Why are we playing darts instead of finding the phone? Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. <laughs> that is one hell of a shot. <laughs> You did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Hmm. Guess we need to talk to him. Let's see what's gonna happen in the next part.